Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to create a skeleton loader in React. At first, let's go to our browser and install this package, React Loading Skeleton. Let me copy the link, okay? And paste it in my terminal. And after you install the package successfully, let's go and create a component. Let's call it something like Skeleton Loader. Okay, .js. All right. And let me close this and do the initializations. And here we need to load some data from a database. So let me go to JSON type code and uh, click on some of these guys, these fake APIs like comments and take the URL. Okay. And also we need to apply use effect. So inside which we can actually read the data from this database. So let me create the error function and don't forget to Add this uh, empty dependency array and let's fetch the data from this URL. We'll just copy it, okay? And then uh, we get a response and we should uh, convert the response to JSON like this. And after that, we need another then. So we can actually uh, apply whatever we want uh, regarding the data that is fetched. Let me simply console log it so we can make sure actually it has been extracted. And as you can see inside console, the array exists. Let me create a use state to uh, save this data. Let's call it to do's and set to do's. Okay. And it's equal to a use state. And initial value should be an empty array. And here, instead of console log, uh, we should set the state to this JSON. All right. Set to do's JSON. Great. Next step is to uh, uh, display it on our screen. So let me map this to do's and the error function. And inside this, we need a to do item and maybe an index. All right. And here we need to return the template. And the template is actually a list. I want it to be an ordered list. And let me give it, a, give it a class and then list item. Okay. And here we have the to do name. Let me wrap it inside a title like H1. Okay. And then there's a to do body. Let's wrap it inside a paragraph tag. All right. And here we need to add a logical or, so if there isn't the object yet, we need to show the skeleton. As you can see, it has been uh, auto imported from the package we just installed. Let me copy the same thing and paste it here. Okay. And also the last thing to make this effect is to import the CSS file of uh, this package, which is inside React Loading Skeleton, dist. And inside this, we have skeleton with small s, the CSS. Let's test it. And as you can see, the skeleton shows up. That's all. Thanks for watching.